comic book fans know that Stan Lee had a considerable amount of help coming up with his legion of now famous characters. In fact, Steve Ditko co-created both Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, yet we barely heard anything about his death in June 2018. So what was it that made Stan Lee stand out from the crowd and get to do all of those fun Marvel movie cameos? Let's find out. Before we get into the origin story of comic book icon Stan Lee, be sure to click on that subscribe button for more from CBR. Then ring that gray bell to join our notification squad. Long before he was casually remarking on spaceships in Avengers Infinity War, Stan Lee was working a menial job just like the rest of us. Just like Peter Parker, Stan Lee grew up in New York City. He worked a series of odd jobs and his teenage resume is so random it sounds more like a list of cameos. Lee delivered sandwiches, worked in the office of a trouser factory, and moonlighted as a theater usher. We can't say whether he encountered any superheroes during this time, but we wouldn't be too surprised. Eventually, he was able to break into the field of writing, but just barely. He started out selling subscriptions for the New York Herald Tribune and writing obituaries in his spare time. Stan Lee's parents didn't actually name him Stan Lee. He was born Stanley Martin Lieber and originally used Stan Lee as a pseudonym before eventually making it his legal name. Eventually, Lee hoped to move from comics to the next great American novel, and at that point he wanted to use the name Stanley Lieber. We know it seems hard to imagine, but there was a time when Stan Lee didn't consider comics to be an illustrious career. In fact, he felt as though he could be doing more with his life. He felt comics were looked down upon, but liked the idea of making them appealing to a wider audience. In the end, his now legendary inner nerd won out, and he wholeheartedly embraced Marvel Comics. He started out writing storylines for Captain America, but ironically, his job was disrupted when he joined the army in 1942. But this doesn't mean he stopped writing. In addition to coming up with slogans and penning manuals, he was one of nine official playwrights serving in the armed forces. When he returned to civilian life and the world of comics, Lee brought with him some new ideas. He wanted to revolutionize the comics industry and give readers heroes who were more relatable and flawed than standard heroes of the time. He worked closely with other writers and artists, perhaps most notably including Steve Ditko and Jack Kirby. But while comic book fans recognize these names, they're nowhere near as well known as Stan Lee. Ditko and Kirby were responsible for co-creating some of the most popular Marvel characters, including Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, Doctor Strange, and the Fantastic Four, just to name a few. So why is it that Stan Lee specifically became a major pop culture icon? Well, we have some thoughts on the matter. You're probably familiar with some of his on-screen cameos, but long before that, artists were drawing him into the comics. This wasn't Lee's idea, but the fans loved it and started to put a face to the name they saw associated with their favorite comics. Lee also began writing editorial columns directed at fans, and his informal yet passionate tone made his columns stand out. Plus, there's the fact that he ended every column with the word Excelsior, which soon became his catchphrase. Stan Lee became more than just a guy who writes comic books. Stan Lee became a real-life comic book character himself. Fans got to know his public persona and saw a fellow enthusiastic comic book fan. Lee had become the face of Marvel Comics, but this was just the beginning of his grand plan. We give Marvel Studios a lot of credit for putting together the Marvel Cinematic Universe and maintaining all of its moving parts, but Stan Lee helped create a massive Marvel comic universe, and he was eager to bring it to the other forms of media. During the 70s, we got the amazing Spider-Man television show, which was cancelled after only 13 episodes, and The Incredible Hulk, which fared better. But still, Marvel was a long way from becoming the cinematic behemoth it is today. We know it's hard to believe, but there was a time when Marvel Comics was facing serious financial difficulties and was on the verge of bankruptcy. They ended up selling off the rights to some of their major characters, and although it was a desperate decision, it was one Stan Lee was excited about. He acted as a brand ambassador, providing input on bringing his beloved characters to the big screen. In the 2000 movie X-Men, we saw the first of his now infamous signature cameos. This was an extra bit of excitement for comic book fans, and soon even devout moviegoers began to wonder who he was. Stan Lee had spent so much time building himself into a brand and positioning himself at the forefront of Marvel that it's no wonder he's the one we think of when we think of our favorite heroes. And it's not just us comic book fans who have been inspired by Stan Lee. Todd McFarlane is one of the creators of Venom, who admits to being inspired by Stan Lee when he was growing up. Director Kevin Smith is also among those who credit Stan Lee with teaching them how to write compelling characters. He sold Smith and millions of other people on the idea 
idea of comics. We know it's hard to imagine now, but there was a time when superhero movies weren't really a thing, let alone dominating the box office. Sure, there were many factors which led to the success of Marvel movies, but the friendly face of Stan Lee is one which is easy to recognize. During an interview, Stan Lee once infamously said, it's geeks who really make or break a TV show or movie or video game. We can't say we disagree. And as a fellow comic book geek, Stan Lee definitely knew what he was talking about. From humble beginnings to highly anticipated on-screen cameos, Stan Lee certainly left behind an impressive legacy. How will you best remember Stan Lee moving forward? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section and then click the subscribe button to get the latest videos from CBR.